Hello and welcome to my GeoGuessr Daily Challenge Day 620. Once again, I am streaming this challenge so you can see Twitch chat running along underneath me. I told them to say hi YouTube, so hopefully they do. And we are going to see how we do today. The first round is a Columbia round, which is nice to see. We have clearly Spanish writing, we have lots of yellow number plates. Um, and we are going to look for a city now. It's not often that I will really bother to look for a city in Colombia, but the fact that we've gotten it so quick, we might as well really put some effort in and look for us. Mechanis is going to mean mechanic. No, I don't think that's a city name. Calais 40A. Oh, you know what? Carrera 53. Let's just go to a city like Banquilla, which is a big one. Let's just see if I can literally find these streets. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, Calais, Calais, Calais 60, we're going down Calais. Calais 82, I'm going the wrong way, I think. Calais 40 is this one. We're technically looking for 40A. Uh, but we're looking for Carrera. 53, 23, 21B. Okay, we go up to get high Carreras. Carrera 50. Carrera 53 on and a connection to Carrera 40. Doesn't say A. But the fact that those sort of cross is a lot. And is it a weird intersection like this one? Yeah, look, it is a strange intersection. So I came from down here, which is, is this where I came from? Let's click return to start. Which way was the weird intersection? It was this way. To the east. Let me double check that. Yeah, it was. This could be a miracle, or this could be I'm looking in the wrong city, and because it's a grid-based system, it all lines up anyway. Could be either of those. The intersection is to the east. So it's somewhere here. I think I'm somewhere along here. Let's just lock that in and see if we get it. No, it was the wrong city. As I said, whoops, I clicked away. Columbia has gridded cities. So this one just as well has a Carrera 40A and a Cala. Anyway, it, I will say it looked surprisingly like it. This is one hell of a round. I just spent a big stream practicing my Africa meta. We have the police car follow car that is tradition of Nigeria. This is a very red and deserty part. I don't know how far north this follow car goes. I'm going to go up here like near Gombe. I think that's going to be the red sandy part. Yeah, not, not bad. Pretty good and far north. Okay, uh, we have striped poles here. I don't know what the striped poles mean. Maybe Peru? Or is this just going to be Africa? Outside lines, what do we have in the sky? Car? I think, oh, that sign will help a lot. Stop. Um, oh, how flat are we? We are flat. This is Botswana. Um, let's go there near, near Palapay. Other side, but yes, that's Botswana. Nice. Ah. Well, after Adup finished his daily challenge, he came back to chat and said it went well, apart from one round. I think I've discovered the round. But it's okay. Because we can learn some fashion tips instead of doing the daily challenge. Bell bottom or flare jeans refers to a style of trousers that are closely fitted to the buttocks and become gradually wider from the buttocks to the knees downwards. The word buttocks is in that sentence I think too many times. I don't need to repeat it. It's probably just the translation. 
This is cool. That's like traditional Chinese. This is a sick museum. It's a fashion museum. So these museums in China, there's a lot of them. There's a city called Chengdu in the middle of China that often has tracker footage. But it could also just be Beijing. Or it could be like Xi'an. It could be anywhere. It could be so many different places. Since the founding of New China in 1949, I've never heard it called New China. Must be what the Chinese call it. Or maybe, as I said before, like a Chinese, a translation error or something. Looking outside, I am not going to say that this is Chengdu. Sorry, I'm not going to say this is Beijing. I'm actually leaning more towards Chengdu now. Uh, can we go downstairs to the Christmas tree? Nope, we can come back into this room. I want to go down to the Christmas tree, guys. Chinese fashion gallery. Stairs. Good. Oh. Why aren't I allowed to take the stairs? Okay, let's go to Chengdu. And there's this weird panda exhibit to the north that I'm going to assume has a fashion museum as well. No, it was Hangzhou. <laughs> How are we going points-wise? Okay, we only need 2,000 points this round to get the silver we want. We are probably going to get it. Oh, hello. We're probably going to get it in the Dominican Republic. Bars on the car with black rubber inside. There are two major cities in the Dominican Republic. I don't know their names, but they're the north one and the south one, yeah. Santiago de los Caballeros and Santo Domingo. We're going to try and work out which of those we are in. Just had this moment that I was worried I wasn't recording, so I checked my stream deck to see if I was. I am recording. Colgate, yeah. Agora Mall. Should I just have a quick look for Agora Mall? It looks big. No. Agora Mall. See, it told you it looks big. Where do we start? Which way is the mall? There's the mall. Uh... We're looking for a street to the north, the west of the mall. We're looking for this street to the west of the mall. Mall's there. West will be this street. Yeah, we're on this street somewhere. Return to the start. We pop our head out. And... Are we there or are we further down? Are there any other roads? No, we're there. 5,000 points for a perfect score. You know what? I'm happy to win on a perfect score after that. That's awesome. How did everyone else do? I think today we're going to look at how many people got that China round. I'm sure there's a few perfect scores around here. Yeah, quite a few in that last round. Poor Richie Turtle missed it by one point. Eight up. Guest, uh, congratulations everyone on their perfect scores. I feel like I'd spend a lot of episodes where I go through and say, oh, well done on your perfect score to everyone. It's still a good achievement, but I feel like I want to look at different things. The end of every video is not the same. You guys nailed it. A lot of people got the city. But we also had, oh, maybe no, no, sorry. Don't worry. I thought a lot of people got the city, but so many people went Beijing that it made a big thick line. One person got the city. <laughs> Luca. Well done, Luca. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.